Hi guys, welcome back to another video. It's the PC Builder, and today we're going to be tearing down this GTS 450. So, this is the GTS 450. Um, it actually has a pretty timeless design. It would still hold up okay today with the shirt stripes and the cooler. Um, but this is from, what, 2010? 11? Uh, so it's pretty old now. Um, it's basically only going to play Valorant. But how you'll take off the cooler um, is you'll go to the back and you have to undo these four screws. Now, um, this is the second take, so that's why these screws are so loose. Obviously, I wouldn't have that loose of screws on an actual graphics card. Do you want a little bit of force to open them? And you tighten it back up, but you don't want to absolutely smush these and make it so like it's impossible to open. Right, you don't want to have to full on crank it like that, right? You want to just be able to twist it, maybe a little harder at the start. You don't want to have it so loose. Um, so this, well this is the cooler, um, and then this is the graphics card that we're going to move in. And then there's a fan wire right there, and you're going to want to pull that out. Um, now you want to be kind of careful with that, um, because you don't want these wires to come out. Um, I've never had that happen to me before. It's just a precautionary thing. Um, so this is the cooler. Um, you can see the thermal paste. If you don't know, that is what cools it. That's what um, fills in the microscopic gaps between the processor and this cooler. Um, and then you can actually see, if I can get this on camera, a faint square here. Um, you can kind of see two darker lines. That's where the original thermal paste was. When I got this card, which would have been, I think, November, um, that was still on there, which would have been 10 years old, which was kind of freaky to think about. But I'll look at the circuit board, um, the main thing, a uh, graphics card. Um, so this graphics card does require uh, one 6-pin. Um, it's made by Asus. Um, I didn't clarify that yet, and has a cool little logo up there. Um, and then those are the outputs. It's got an HDMI, VGA, and a DVI port. Uh, so then this is the main processor. I'll make sure it's still focused. Yep. Um, and then these are the RAM modules. Um, so yeah. Um, you will need... Oh yeah. And then this is the SLI port right here. Um, which allows you to run two. Um, in SLI, well, there's two of them working together to make one game. They say you're supposed to get twice the performance, but you really don't. You're better off at, with modern games just getting a more powerful graphics card, right? Um, but this I got for 15 bucks. Um, so yeah. Again, you're probably gonna want at least a 400 or 500 watt power supply, uh, for the 6 pin connector. But let's look into this cooler a bit more. You can see another four screws if you want to take off the cooler. Now I'll need a smaller screwdriver. I might not have a small enough one here with me. Not even that big. Okay, I have one more in this drawer, which might be small enough. If it's not, then I can't get into this. Yeah, it's not. So I don't have a small enough screwdriver to get into this. But you can see on um, these copper pipes, if you're wondering why they're um, kind of a silvery color, kind of like aluminum, but they're copper, you can see they're copper here, and they just painted them that color for aesthetics. There might be something to do with it. Art could just switch to aluminum. Sometimes they do that, um, which I think is happening here. Um... And then there's fins, um, which these pipes dissipate the heat, and then the fins dissipate it even further, and then the fans will just, and the heat will kind of start to come off these little tiny fins, and then the fan will just blow the heat away. So that's kind of how the cooler works, if you didn't know. Pretty self-explanatory, and the fans up here. One fan. Some graphics cards have up to three fans, but that's on really big behemoths. This really isn't going to be playing that many... Uh, games today. Um, basically, Valorant, Minecraft, you might get a playable experience, barely, 
on Fortnite, like, not even Fortnite worthy at this point, like, I'd say internet browsing, Valorant, and Minecraft, that's about all you're gonna get away with this thing, um, quick look at the back, um, you can see, it says GTS 450, uh, focus, well, you guys can't see it, but right there it says GTS 450, um, one gigabyte of GDDR5, um, which some back then would have still been using GDDR4, uh, surprisingly, but that would have been on their more budget cards. So, yeah. Uh, so I think I'm going to start putting it back together, and I'll probably start a hyperlax for that, um, because you guys already know how to take it apart. So, we just finished uh, putting it back together. Um, so, yeah, that's about it for the video. If you're still around and you haven't clicked off when I started putting it back together, um, I really just want to thank you for uh, 30 subscribers. And uh, we're nearing 5,000 views in total on this channel. 5,000! Um, which is really just amazing. Um, knowing that so many people, uh, watch my videos, um, and uh, almost all of those views are from your Acer Chromebook 311 review, um, that has what, it's coming up on, like, what, 4600, 4700, somewhere in there, um, so yeah, I'd really just like to thank you guys for 30 subscribers, 5,000 views, and 4,700 on one video. It's amazing. Um, goodbye. I'll see you in the next one.